Hi you guys, it has been such a long time. I don't think I filmed a video in over a month. I haven't vlogged in even longer than that. Um, it's just been a really busy month and I just honestly have not had the motivation to put up videos. I mentioned before that I broke my Canon G7X camera. I washed it in the washer on accident. So that's broken, I have to get that fixed. Um, I have to send it in and then hopefully I can just buy like a refurbished one and then my phone broke. I broke, I cracked the screen on Mother's Day. It fell off my, the top of my car. I was putting the kids in the car from after the beach. We went to the beach on Mother's Day. I left it on top of the car. We drove off <laughs> and the screen broke but it was still working for a while and it was it was fine. It was just a cracked screen and I was like oh I'll get it fixed. I'll get it fixed. Well I never did and then the whole entire phone went. So that's another thing I'm gonna have to get fixed. But for now I have um, just a Samsung Galaxy phone, which I didn't have a phone for like two to three weeks. And Cassidy and my mom were like about to kill me, like please get a phone. Um, and it was actually besides not being able to talk to them, it was actually kind of nice not having a phone. And I felt like I, was like disconnected from the world for a little while um but now i have a phone i need to get a video up because it's been a long time um so i have just like an update for you guys on the house situation moving um i think the last i don't even know what i filmed on the last video i think it was like us losing the house no we lost the house i was saying that we were putting offers on houses while well, we were still putting offers on houses we actually did get a house. Um, we moved to Florida in eight days and we are so excited. Um, that's another reason I wanted to get a video up. I don't want the next video to be us in Florida and you being like, how did you get here? Are you renting? Did you buy a house? We did buy a house. Um, so the one house that we were under contract with, that didn't go through because it didn't appraise and we couldn't come to an agreement. So this house, we put other offers on houses, didn't get it. We were the backup offer to a house that had 10 acres. The house needed a little bit of work. Um, it didn't have a pool or anything, but we would eventually put that in. We were the backup offer on that. Um, and then we put an offer on another house. It's a little bit smaller square footage than what we were looking for, but we were okay with it because the kids are gonna be in school besides like summertime. They'll be in school for majority of the day and then we have a really nice lanai, it has an in-ground pool, it has a nice yard. It's actually pretty funny because it's two houses down from the house that we were under contract with. So we really love this area. We don't expect us to be there for like super long term, probably two to three years. And then we'll see like, do we want to put an addition on? We'll see how much like equity we have in the house. There are updates that we're going to do to the house for sure. Um, it's definitely livable like it doesn't need that much work but to get it to like the you know our style we will be doing updates um so yeah that's what's going on we move in eight days we've been doing showings in our in the townhouse because we have a we had to give the owner 60 days notice so we will be paying for obviously this month we're in it and then we'll also be paying for the month of october so we will be paying our mortgage and then well, obviously all the utilities in that house and then we'll also be paying the whole month of October that we won't be here um, and the electric and electricity um, the electricity and like water of this place so we've been letting them have showings that way if they do happen to get somebody in here they'll pro rate us um, our mortgage I'm not our mortgage our rent for this place so we might only have to pay like two weeks worth of rent instead of a whole month so that would be great went to florida and we went and saw it the boys missed a day of school and we went and saw the house the kids loved it they especially loved the pool um so did i we love the fact that because the older area that we're moving to um the area that we're moving to the older section which is the section that we really like the most in that area it has lake access which is like a huge thing that we really wanted but we didn't think we would get it because of the market and just like obviously a lot of people who go down there would love to have boat access a lot of people have boats go fishing and stuff like that so we're really happy that we do have um the lake access oh and it did a price <laughs> that's another thing like i don't even know if i told like most all my family because i didn't say anything because 
I didn't want it to be like last time where like, oh, we got the house and then it didn't appraise and then we don't move. So we got the house. It appraised for exactly what we offered. So we're so happy um, with that situation that it appraised and we don't have to worry about it. I'm so excited because we'll be saving a lot of money just not renting because our rent is pretty expensive here. Um, so we'll be saving $300 a month on our house and then no state income tax which is amazing and that's a huge savings each month so we're so excited and then when we went down to visit the house we took another load down so really we probably have two more loads left to do we'll do one load on moving day so we move october 1st so i'm so excited that we'll be there before the holidays we'll be there before halloween thanksgiving and christmas and i'm so happy kids will start school we'll move on Friday the kids will start school on Monday so they have a really good transition they'll just miss Friday um, and then they'll have the whole weekend to adjust explore and stuff um, get used to the house and then they'll start school so we do have a storage unit down there I think I mentioned that because of the last house so we've been paying on the storage unit which is another bill that we've been paying and so since we were going down there we were like we might as well just bring another load with us so we did that and then when we go down on the first we'll bring my car the van and a trailer because we have to bring the bikes and stuff the dirt bikes so that'll be one trip and then since we have this place for october we kind of can just leave a couple things that we can't fit like in the garage it will mainly be in the garage stuff um and then we'll just come back here or rob will just come here grab those things and then come back and bring them back a few things that we're going to do as soon as we get into the house are which is another thing that's nice about having the storage unit because we can have that stuff in the storage unit and when we're done doing a couple of the things that we want to get done right away we can bring more of the stuff in right away we're going to paint the interior of the house besides like obviously right when we get in we're going to like deep clean the whole entire house but after that we're going to paint um, and I'm doing the same exact color as I picked in the townhouse because they let me pick this color, which I really like. I cannot remember. It's either a colonnade gray, which I want to say that's what it is, or agreeable gray. I need to look at the paint cans because we do have them um, and make sure that I know exactly what color we pick because I love this color. We're going to be doing the whole inside that color besides Tyler room. Tyler's room. Tyler's room will be, I want to say it's called pink shadow. It's kind of like a dusty pink um so we'll do that we're painting the kitchen cabinets we're doing all the new hardware throughout the house like the um door handles the cabinet hardware because the cabinets don't have hardware on them at all so we'll be doing that um new fans light fixtures and we really want to do plantation shutters and a couple of the windows so we're going to be doing that and then soon after that we want to do all new flooring in the whole house besides the bathroom flooring because the bathroom flooring they just did and I really really like it so we're gonna do all the flooring in the house and then we want to paint the exterior of the house there's definitely things that we're gonna just keep on wanting to do but mainly the interior paint painting the cabinets hardware plantation shutters the fans and light fixtures are the first things that we're going to do and then we want to do shiplap in some on some of the walls um but anyways I wanted to get a video for you guys up because I know I've been getting so many questions on Instagram about if we got a house and I kind of just been like liking the comments or haven't responded because I wanted to wait until our, our appraisal was done um so it's done um and it's like before I think with our when we bought our first house the market wasn't so crazy so like you got your appraisal really quick with the last this house and the last house it's like it's like you know two weeks before you're supposed to move if it appraised because I guess the appraisal companies have just been like so bucked up if that's how it works i don't even know um but yeah it's been crazy i'm so excited and i just cannot wait we are gonna get the u-haul on thursday pack it up um we're literally have been sleeping on mattresses on our floors like we don't have like um bed frames the our bed frames down there and then the boys are getting new bed frames because they're going to have their own rooms. So is that another thing I mentioned? Yeah, they're, everyone's going to have their own room. Um, which is funny because the boys have been begging for their own rooms. And now that we told them they're going to have their own rooms, they don't want them. They want to share a room. So I think their beds, we're going to get them um, beds with like trundles underneath. That way if they want to, and I'll have like sheets already on the trundle. That way if they want to sleep with each other, they can. And one can sleep on top, one can sleep on the bottom. And it'll also be really nice because we won't have a guest room. It'll be really nice um, 
if the boys want to bunk up together, um, family can stay in the one room, which will have like two twin beds, basically because of the trundle. So that's what we have planned for the bid, the bids, <laughs> the boys' beds. Um, and then Tyler, we're just going to keep her in a crib until I transition her into a twin bed. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm, I'm not even going to make a promise when the next video will be up. Just keep your notifications on because you'll get notified when I do. <laughs> I've been really slacking and I know. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!